Hey YouTubers, went back to the thrift store. I didn't really want to, but I found stuff for other people. And then this next thing, my ex-wife had us have a bunch of them for when people came to visit. I kept one of them. Sure didn't pay 11 bucks for them. So many things here at good prices, but no self-respect in Ohio person would have a picture of the big house, but it's only $2. If it was the shoe, it'd be about 10 bucks. This thrift store always has weird stuff. Here's some running boards if you need them for your truck and you only got 11 bucks. But now let's check out what I bought. All right, YouTubers, that carpet means it's thrift store time again. Um, the holidays are coming up and I'm going to a relative's house and I was at the thrift store, texted them and they have hardwood floors and they use this stuff a lot. And this is about half, maybe a third full. And I told him three bucks and said that's a really good deal so I grabbed it but I really didn't want to go to the thrift store but I drug myself there and now I'm really glad I did because and up because I found another new wave mini friggin awesome and this actually has two domes but I couldn't find another cook unit and it looks almost unused it's very clean and I know there's a lot of people out there that have been looking I have one person in mind that's been screaming for one of these. So now I have three. <laughs> so this, um, I might end up gifting one of these. Again, tried it in the store, works great. And it was on sale day. And again, I didn't even want to go. I'm like, I don't need to go to the thrift store. And so glad I did. So 16 bucks, 25% off is 12 bucks. That's a really good deal for something that those that have been looking for these know that they're almost impossible to find. Again, plugged it in and it works. Down in the bottom, you can see that the card's actually in there on how to use it. So uh, I'd also said that one of my uh, domes has a crack in it. So a spare dome, and I can see here that this one dome has a tiny little crack right there. Not as bad as the one I have, and the one I have isn't all that bad, so. That's a really great deal. And as I've said previously, you know, I, I put stuff in the RV in case I cross paths with somebody who watches the channel, you know, and say, and share some thrift store stuff. So I can't guarantee that I'm gonna share a new wave mini, but I found more of this uh, waterless hair stuff. So there's a good chance if somebody's looking for something to be shared, I might share this because we all know some people out there don't clean themselves as well not you obviously not you but you, we know those other people that don't clean themselves and this was 75 cents that's a joke relax awesome awesome for a small rv um little dustpan 75 cents i'm i'm literally i literally keep one bag in the rv as stuff in case i run into people Greatest closer of all time. Saw him about a dozen times. Always caused stress with my ex because she wanted to beat traffic, but we're staying for Mo. And I got it on a good price. I found this. And again, with the holidays coming up, I've already started like a box because I have a couple family members that go camping. So I've bought everybody one gift, you know, and I'm gonna take a box of stuff and say, does anybody want this stuff for camping? And I have one that has wanted one of these Stuffs Press. So I've already thrown mine in there. So I'm not giving them, <laughs> you know, a food preparation thing that is uh, from the thrift store. But there's some other useful things in here. So now I have a burger press. But I also saw, I saw this. And I'm assuming it's the same thing. This was 75 cents. And this bag was $3. Sorry. But I'm assuming this is a burger press. But the stuff's press can be a bit tough, even though you can put stuff inside. But if you want a nice burger press, this seems like it will be easier to get the burgers back out. Because in the plastic ones, it can be a little difficult. So I might give that a try for 75 cents. Or it might go in that box for relatives. I found a, a small knife. And I got a sharpener so I can sharpen it up. But it's got a good feel to it. It's light and the handle feels good. And 69 cents. And what's 25% off of that? Maybe like 55, 54 something cents. I already have those small, what is it? The perfect tortilla thing. The small ones. Um, I might throw a couple of those in the box. But this, I saw this larger one. 
And sometimes if I'm like trying to make a big salad kind of thing, the other ones are just too small. So this might be cool. And it was uh, two and a quarter. And last but not least, a big tote. You know, because I buy all this crap, I probably need a big tote. And it was a buck and a half. These are expensive. Um, doesn't have any holes in it. It's not broken. It's got the lid and everything. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And that's it from the thrift store. I think one trip and a couple other things from a past trip, but mostly one trip. So uh, I will close by saying I can't tell you how happy I was to find another one of these. I'm still grinning. Because those of you that have looked online for one of these, I should probably not give it away. I should try to sell it because I could get a lot of money for these now because they're fantastic in a small van for one or two people. And if you look online on either eBay or Craigslist or whatever, people are getting a lot of money for these because they stopped making them. So that's my thrift store stuff on a day I didn't even really want to go, but I drug myself over there. Hope you enjoyed. Check out your local thrift stores. And have a great and wonderful day. I know people love the Instapot, and I'll probably get one one day, but I love these New Wave Minis.